Hey everyone, uh, my name is Patrick. Um, I'm about to start a new treatment using phage therapy and I wanted to document uh, how this goes. Uh, a little about myself. I'm 35. I have cystic fibrosis. Um, and some of those other conditions I've uh, picked up along the way. I've got diabetes, osteopenia, GERD, uh, DOS, and um, you know all those I actually manage pretty well. Uh, what's really been giving me a hard time the last three years is uh, Burkholderia cepatia, which I contracted around 19 years old. Uh, Burkholderia cepatia is a multi-antibiotic resistant bacteria. And over the years of being sick, uh, I have been able to be treated with um, specific antibiotics, uh, which have worked. Uh, but now, at this point in my life, those, anti those same antibiotics that, were, that are sensitive to Burkholderia cepatia are no longer working. Uh, I had a hospitalization back in December. It's, uh, it's mid-January now. And went the full two weeks, even came home for another half week on IV antibiotics. And within a week, I was back. Uh, my, my lungs were just fully infected again. So... For the past year or so, um, I've been looking into these this phage therapy and really had a hard time figuring out how to get my hands on it. Uh, initially, I thought I would have to travel to the Republic of Georgia, and that's just not really an option right now. Uh, but with, with the help of my dad, who's been looking at this too, we uh, together made a lot of phone calls this, just this last few weeks. And found a contact who sells this phage that I need. Um, so I'm gonna, I really wanna do is uh, document how I'm gonna measure uh, my day to day with this treatment. Uh, so what the first thing I'll do is I have this tool here. This measures peak flow and FEV1. Uh, peak flow is a measurement used, it's like that fast, uh, expiration of air, that big blast, it measure, uh, measures the peak of that uh, in liters per minute. And then the other thing it will me uh, measure is FEV1. It's the liters, uh, it's a volume of liters in the first six seconds of expiration. And then there's a calculation you can run to give you a percentage, and there's an online calculator I use for that. I have been averaging about 50% uh, for the past several months. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow, uh, when I, uh, my lungs are strongest in the morning after my first treatment. So tomorrow morning, I will, uh, I run this anyway, but for measurement's sake, I will track the numbers in the morning. Uh, the other thing I'll measure is uh, how much sputum I'm copping up. Um, when you go to a clinic visit, they have an assessment sheet you fill out, which asks you all sorts of things about your, your spit up, you know, uh, what color, the viscosity, the amount, and they like to measure in teaspoons and tablespoons and it's it's actually kind of ridiculous to measure it that way so i'm going to measure it in hacks you know a hack is somewhere between a tablespoon and a teaspoon uh, right now i'm averaging about 10 to 20 hacks per treatment uh, right now it's very green it's very thick uh, there's very little saliva and then the other thing i'll measure is just how i feel uh, energy appetite and breathing issues so the therapy here which I'll post, there'll be some links in the description for looking up phages. I don't really want to explain it all here. If you're interested in what they are and how they work, I'll read those links. But this is what I got in the mail today. It comes in this box. Uh, and in fact, back it's in Cartbellion. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, and this is what I was recommended to, to try out. Uh, so it comes in the box, and here are the vials. And I'm going to be nebulizing this. And there's a there's a whole treatment plan for how to nebulize it. The first few days, you actually just do drops in your nostrils, testing for allergic reactions. Uh, there really weren't any, there's virtually no side effects reported with these phages. So I don't expect there to be any issues, but I will follow the plan to the T to get the full benefit. It's a 10 day treatment, a uh, couple days of drops, and then the rest of the eight days are nebuliz nebulizing this. And I'll do it after a treatment, so I'll make sure I cop everything out as much as I can, and then I'll take the drug. Uh, so tomorrow I will 
post another video of day one where I'll, I'll measure or do all the measurements record them and uh, just kind of report on that and, and hope this works because uh, the antibiotics just are not working anymore uh, they're making me so sick you know when I get put on all these drugs uh, I have more side effects than than good than good effects you know everything from my my, my kidneys uh, liver uh, the entire my entire GI tract just stops from esophagus all the way down the colon it's just uh, it's been really hard to deal with all the side effects uh, and, and also another issue I have <clears throat> the few antibiotics that work against Burkholderia cepatia I happen to be allergic to them so when I do get admitted to the hospital I have to go through two or three days of desensitizations depending on which drugs uh, they need to give me so this could change everything I'm hoping it is that the research and documentation is amazing uh, this isn't something that's done here in the States much it's the universities and, and there are even a few startups just showing up doing this but where this comes from Republic of Jordan I mean, they've been doing this for a hundred years so it's not experimental to them they've been doing this forever so uh, I feel really good about it after the the experts I've spoken with the testimonials I've heard that I trust and uh, we're gonna give this a go thanks